Branch, Barrington and beyond. My name is Sarah Heward and I'm a realtor with Mott and Chase Sotheby's International Realty. And today I have the pleasure of interviewing Carrie Cronin of DISH right here on Water Street in Warren, where I'm becoming a regular lately because there's so many great shops. But thank you, Carrie, for letting me in today. Thanks, for, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. So let's start, Carrie, with the origin story. When, because you have some longevity here, when did you open and what was your impetus for opening up Dish? Well, um, my mother, after uh, you know years of thinking my brother and I might move back home to California, decided that that was not gonna happen. And so she followed us to the East Coast and ultimately followed me to Rhode Island. And we just thought we wanted to do a business together. And we thought about a few different ideas. We were maybe gonna do a little sort of gourmet takeout place. And the name Dish seemed perfectly appropriate. We had the whole design concept. And then we thought perishable product or a product that we can live and wear yes. and and sort of own for a long time. And um, we both had extensive experience in both retail and um, design mm. and product development and whatnot. And we thought, better stick to what we know. Yes. Although in the back of my mind, I may still open a restaurant. <laughs> Who knows? Don't rule it out. Crazy, crazy. So um, yeah, so we decided to open a boutique together and um, we found the space where we are and it's kind of gone through some changes, but you know, 19 years ago, 19 years. it was 19 years April, um, we opened the doors and um, we have been uh, just building it ever since yeah. and it's been great. Oh, it's such a lovely spot. It's filled with different hues of blues and I know that you have a real passion for high quality materials, sustainable goods, eco-friendly. Did that kind of craft how you shaped dish? It was yeah. it was part of our just original philosophy and ethos and 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 uh, what we wanted to bring to uh, to our our business. And it wasn't really such a trend then. I mm. mean, um, finding lines that uh, sort of fit into what we found to be beautiful and well-made and and ethical and um, with integrity it you know there was plenty of stuff out there but it wasn't the focus then yes. um, we looked to finding a lot of women designers and women-owned businesses as women ourselves um, and and it just sort of evolved from there and then little by little the notion of what the fashion industry does to the environment and the climate and how those two clash and collide and how we could do better and be better and offer better it just made more and more sense as the years went on it was a little bit of a learning curve yeah, did. Um, especially then yeah especially then mm. uh, because the 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 quality and the fabrication and the design came along with a price that wasn't what you would find in say a big box store or some of the other mass marketed lines you know the pricing was a little bit higher right. and huh why does this cost this much when i could get it for yeah. so much less somewhere else and that's because if you um, want it to last yes. and you want uh, the people who made it, who, who designed it, who made it, who um, to, to um, be paid fair wages, I mean, that was in our minds then. Yeah. And, you know, it is even more critical and crucial now right. to, you know, the choices that we make with what we bring in and the choices that our customers make in how they spend their money and yeah. and it there there is a ripple effect yes um you know those t-shirts that cost less than a cup of coffee and i've i've posted about this mm. before those are doing damage and damage yeah. you can't even imagine yeah. um you know you should pay your your uh your sewers your workers your manufacturers yeah. fair wages and the it should be you know a, a, a real building block right. and, it, and what we buy and put on our bodies you want to feel good about you want to feel yeah. good but you also want to look good no exactly and, and design and style and an aesthetic and a and a and a and a sort of wearing thing wearing clothing that you feel good about right. yourself and that right. empowers you that you feel whether it be pretty or sexy or powerful yes. or um you know just comfortable yeah that all matters well that's what drew me to carrie on social media was just her vibrancy, but also the celebration of each of us as individuals. And no matter what your 
body frame or your age that you can come into a beautiful, eclectic, funky spot and feel comfortable knowing you're gonna find something because of that personalized attention and kind of embracing yeah. everyone for who they are. Yeah, we definitely do not subscribe to, oh, I can't wear that because I'm either too old, too young, too tall, too short, yeah. too heavy, too thin, too whatever. Nah. Yeah. My mother yeah. is five foot one, though she'd say five foot ten. <laughs> and she can wear a really voluminous silhouette and things yeah. that are, you know, have a, a that look more oversized to things that are more fitted and tailored. Yeah. And you know, I and and she's eighty four. Oh, and you know, I'm oh Sarah. Yeah, yay Sarah. And you know, I'll I'll wear just about anything in here and my daughter who is thirty, they would wear just about yes. anything that's in here too yeah. and you know we have customers who just range in size and shape and age mm -hmm. and and yeah and it's and it's really been fun to um, break that that uh, sort of uh, fear in uh, most people's eyes when they come in and they're like oh this this isn't for me yeah. this is gonna be this isn't going to be right for me. I don't belong here. And it's like, no, you do. Yeah. You do. Yes. You belong here. Well, you feel it when you walk in. And you feel it on, on social media, too, with Carrie. So I definitely check out Dish R.I. on Instagram. And uh, I would encourage you all to come down. You can shop feeling good about what you're buying, knowing the ethos behind it, and look, look great doing so. And there's jewelry you can buy for gifts, scarves. And beautiful apparel. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and it's right on Water Street. There's no issues parking. I know it's a big thing in Rhode Island, but I parked my big car, no problem. So come on down, say hi to Carrie. Uh, I'll have all the links in the end of the video as far as her hours and um, when the shop is open and going strong for business. But keep supporting small businesses and thank you Carrie. Thank you Sarah. Thanks for what you're doing for Warren and the whole surrounding area. Um, well thank you very much. You're welcome. All right stay well all. See ya. Bye.